Some of us would like to jump in an observation tank too, just to cool off. But not with the hippos, they're very dangerous. Well, short of getting soaked on a water ride, some of you might enjoy dipping your rewards. Look up to your right. The Crown Colony House Restaurant offers indoor seating. Oh, and you can wave to the nice gentleman up there. Hopefully he'll be there and you can meet him when you stop by. He's inviting you up there. You can enjoy great food indoors or out. Either way, you'll enjoy spectacular views. Speaking of views, once we get past these trees and bushes, start peeking out to your left. We might catch our first glimpse of animals in the Serengeti Plain. For now, on our right, we are passing Egypt. In Egypt, you can travel back in time and visit the tomb of King Tut. The tomb of King Tut is air conditioned. Like and don't forget to wave anytime time we see people today, including people who are waving in slow motion. In Egypt area, you can also dangle your feet and feel a wonderful breeze from up high. Look up to your right at Montu. It's one of the largest inverted steel roller coasters in the United States. And before those nice folks reach the top, here's something that you might not know about Montu. Montu is consistently ranked as one of the top 10 roller coasters in the United States, ranked by, uh, ranked by people who rank roller coasters. Here they come, listen to the screams. Raise your hand if Montu looks like the ride for you. Wow, we have some roller coaster enthusiasts on board. But this may change your mind. Here they come again on the right. exciting, didn't it? Yes. Almost as exciting as the train. We are getting ready to enter the Serengeti Plains, and we could see wildlife at any time. As you look ahead, you might notice and imagine that animals can cross the tracks out here. So our engineers up front keep a keen eye out for any animals that may be in our vicinity. Of course, many animals. If you see, look over on your left hand side, you'll see a few eggs in that sand pit. Those are some of the ostrich eggs that we have here at the park. <laughs> Those are located near the big white bird. Also in the distance, if you can see, a small little black bird with some brown, almost looks like a crown on its head. That's the African crown crane. These particular animals made for life. Some of the animals again are staying cool out over the hills. Look over to your right though, deep inside the cave is a forest dwelling antelope. To the right, look for bongo antelope in the cave. Bongo form herds in the forest. In fact, we had a baby boy bongo born here at Bush Gardens last September. Did you see him? The great animals over on your left hand side are the 
These are also known as the white bearded newt. Wildebeest live in more densely packed herds than any other large animal except you. These animals travel in herds which are almost always on the move. In fact, within only one hour of being born, the baby is ready to stand and run with the herd. Over on the left hand side, just past these hills, we have a couple white rhinos laying down under one of our trees. These white rhinos can weigh anywhere from about 4,000 pounds or so. Despite its size, the rhino is very agile and can run at speeds of 30 miles per hour. These are located just on your left hand side, just past the hill. baby Sabi. She was born last November and will be one year old this year. She was just over half a year old and born on November 11th. Look up to your right for Grant Zebra near the White Rocks. And we'll show you Grant Zebra again. They're using their sharp upper and sharp lower front teeth to raise and just behind, just past the zebra was an ostrich. Standing up, there's another ostrich in the sunshine near the green fence up to the right. The ostrich is the largest type of bird on earth. Tell me now, can ostrich fly? No, but they can run. that tunnel? Was it just me? Or were there some wild animals making noise in there? I couldn't see any of them. Were any of them near you? Well, here at Bush Garden, think back, we saw some wonderful animals. Did everyone enjoy that? I did too. And we do have thousands of animals representing hundreds of different species. That makes Bush Gardens one of the largest zoological parks in North America. Out to the left, feel free to wave to the nice ones in the green train. And over to your right, look for African cattle. And that's not Tipsy. And Coley cattle. Those are considered royal, sacred, even signs of wealth by many people in Africa. As I look back at those African cattle, they remind me of Texas Longhorn. How about you? As we pull into Congo, please stay seated as we go uphill the train. Roll 